Liz. I'm Hans. And I'm Nick. So we just wrapped up the month of February and we wanted to go over our monthly results with you guys. Um, weight wise, I did not have the biggest uh, weight loss. Not that I don't feel bad about that at all. It was actually kind of to be expected, especially since I'm getting closer and closer to um, my goal weight. But I did have a loss, so that's that's a win. Uh, the loss was about 4.4 pounds for me this month. Um, I'm surprised because I feel like in the last like two weeks, I've pretty much just teeter-tottered with the same, the pretty much the same weight. I wasn't seeing the scale really budge. It wasn't going up, but it wasn't going down. So um, yeah, 4.4 4, uh, pounds lost for the month of Fe February for me. I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied. And But what was a big shocker is I lost 6.25 inches. Um, that's total inches, you know, around the body. Now, Hans and I did kind of mess up. We took our measurements after eating a big breakfast. It was uh, a good breakfast. It was a very good breakfast. We ate a Texas sausage, egg and cheese chaffle. Um, it was a great breakfast. It was, we hadn't had anything like that in... Oh, wow. I haven't had a chaffle in, in months. Yeah, months. Yeah. And uh, like I said, chaffles are probably ch totally 2019. It's all right. Everybody else has moved on to the PMSF bread. <laughs> but we, old stuff. we had Texas shape chaffles and that makes my Texan heart happy. So um, anyway, uh, overall, 6.25 inches loss in um, total total inches, total body. I, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, that's real good. Uh, I'm, I, I'm seeing changes, but then I'm also not seeing changes. So I, I see changes in the way that my clothes are fitting. Right. I don't see changes when I look in the mirror. Um, but I guess, you know, that's to be expected. Uh, I did go to the gym a little, a few times uh, the last week or so. I really haven't been that often. We've been dealing with a sick pup um, who had to go to the vet on... Poor Frankie face. Yeah, poor Frankie face. Uh, he did go to the vet on, what was that, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Almost 100% recovery by now. Today's Thursday. Yeah, real quick. You know, he, he's doing so much better. But, yeah, he kind of, he plays it up when he's sick. And he's a little bit of a little emo boy. Kind of how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, whenever he's sick, you know, he wants everybody to, to, to feel for him and everything. But uh, as of... Pretty much yesterday, he's back to his mostly rambunctious little self. Right. And Miss Moxie has a vet visit tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, because I'm off tomorrow morning too, so I'll be able to take her yeah. to the vet. So she's going to get her final round of shots, and mm -hmm. right after that, she'll be able to go to places like the dog park right. and, and with other pups yeah. and start. She'll be able to interact and socialize with other dogs. Um, hopefully. That's gonna work out great. You know, she's, do, she's doing well with, with her Frenchie brothers, but they all play kind of rough. Right. And uh, she's gonna grow up to be kind of like me, a rough and tumble tomboy. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, she's not a dainty little girl at yeah. all. She, she. My favorite part was when they were, uh, Frankie was uh, like growling at her or whatever yeah. and she just took her big old giant paw which yeah. is like the size of my palm yeah. and just put it on her on her nose yeah or on Frankie's nose <laughs> <laughs> so even with her being like 14 weeks old she doesn't take much off of these you know two-year-old bully brothers that yeah. that she has um, so that's a good thing um, but enough about all that you want to talk about your results Hans yes yes so my results aren't Sub, hugely substantial but they are results uh, and so my current weight is at 208 pounds even not not a, a 207.9 208 even yeah right and uh, when we started this month it was 213.6 mm -hmm. so with math it's what 5.6 yeah so 5.6 pounds, that is good. Five pounds in a month, that's that's great. That's more than a pound a, a week, mm -hmm. right? And that's the healthy loss, everybody says. Right. Uh, but my inches weren't uh, amazing. 
Uh, so my inches, I only lost a total of 2.5 inches. And that's in my hips and my chest. Yeah. So uh, my butt's getting smaller. <laughs> and it just makes my top look taller or bigger. <laughs> Not taller, but bigger. So like if my butt shrinks, I just, I'll look like one of those uh, um, cake pops from Starbucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Matreya made some of those in her video the other day. Uh, <laughs> they looked really good, but if, if you think you look like a cake pop. <laughs> yes. Delicious. Yeah. All right. Someone, someone's going to find it delicious, right? So, like, uh, really what, I didn't see in the beginning of the month, I didn't see any loss, right? Like, I just stayed the same. And that was probably for a good uh, two and a half weeks. And then after that two and a half weeks, that's when my body was like, hey, we'll shed a couple pounds here. And obviously, I didn't notice any inches. And uh, I don't think I really feel a difference this month in my clothing. Maybe it's there. I just don't notice it. I feel like it fits the same as when we started mm -hmm. the month. Um, maybe the pants a little bit, but who knows? Uh, that could just be in my mind now that I know I lost it in my butt. Yeah. Right? Um, but, you know, it, it's still result. So I'm still ecstatic. Now, like, we didn't, like, we wanted to fully intend to stay B, 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 and E for the month. And we didn't do that. No, but we we didn't like go over like we didn't right. have we didn't keto treats. We right. didn't really, yeah, we didn't go off the rails at all. We right. we, we stayed within well, well within keto. There's right. plenty, but there's so. plenty of days that we were still doing B B B and E. Right, as well. so tons of days, but like there was like a mixture of like some keto chow in there. Like with our uh, when we went to the zoo, we had the keto ca uh, keto chow coffee, coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, which was delicious yeah by the way um but like you know even like having that plan and we kind of deviated off of it but still kind of stayed into it we still i mean yeah we saw lost. progress we right. we saw yeah. some progress and i was really worried about that i didn't think that we would really see anything or i was even worried that we might have a gain uh say from more than anything from like inflammation right. or something like that and speaking of that I can't pinpoint any one particular thing that I've eaten that has triggered any inflammation, but I do not feel as alert, as energetic as I did when we were doing BBB and E. Right. Um, I don't really know why that would be. I mean, really the only change is the food. And we still, like I said, we haven't just gone off the rails crazy with keto. But um, it was probably still within like 15 total carbs yeah. in, in whatever day that was. Yeah. And it was only a few days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's something to look into. Like, I'm, I'm tired too. Like, I feel more tired than I did the prior month. Yeah. But like, I also don't know if that's because maybe we're doing more and working more. Or like, or has it been more stressful this month? And then, like, so we're just feel more tired. I don't know. I don't really know It could know be either. the food. It could be, you know, we're just naturally more tired this month. Who knows? I mean, I don't think we're going to go B, 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 and E for the next month. No, I will say this. If, if, so, so for the month of March, I have incorporated in my meal plan just a, pretty much a totally keto meal plan. Um, if I continue to feel this way, or if I start feeling worse, what I may do for the month of April, um, I don't know if I can maybe do like B, 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 and E like Monday through Friday and then keto on the weekends or if that would be really counterproductive. I don't know. We'll, we'll monitor it and see as long as I don't feel worse. And like I said, I don't feel terrible. It's just I can tell a difference right. um, from... Just one to you know, BB, yeah, I mean, I feel like I could honestly not off, but you know, <laughs> I, we're, we're doing a lot. We we're pretty active and everything else. So maybe that has a lot to do with it as well. I really can't say, um, I just noticed that there is a, a, a little bit of a tweak, a little bit of a twinge in, in, right. in my alertness and my just overall like energetic feeling. So you're going to just stay keto for the month. For this month, yes. So I made a, a meal plan for myself. Uh, I'm sure you guys will see the food haul. I think the haul video will be up before this video will come out. Um, and it's all keto. 
Um, so I haven't had just like keto foods like incorporated into my daily diet since last year. Um, and really Hans and I almost did BBB and E the entire month of December. We really cut back on carbs yeah, even was that in December. Keto -ish. Yeah. But like super, super low yeah. carb. Yeah, so this month I'm having, you know, some cream cheese. I'm having cheese. I'm having, you know, chicken. Um, things like things like that. So it's all keto. I think I'm still sticking with the uh, ground beef. Yeah, it's all it's all keto. But well, this morning our bre breakfast wasn't keto. It was keto. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't B B B and E. Oh, it wasn't B B B and E, which yeah. is true. But like what I'm saying is like for my lunches, I'm still gonna just bring that um, yeah. ground beef and mm -hmm. bacon because mm -hmm. I mean. We have like three pounds of ground bacon, or ground bacon, that would be nice. Three pounds of ground beef uh, in the fridge for me yeah, to prep. Yeah, I made, I made quite a bit of uh, ground beef for Hans to work uh, work with while I'm eating, you know, the food that I prepped for um, my meal prep. Right, because I'm not involved in the $100 haul. Oh, well, why do you sound sad? <laughs> <laughs> Understand why you sound really, sad. I don't really feel like chicken. I just want, I want beef. <laughs> well, okay. So anyway, um, and that's going along well. I've already eaten a couple of meals that I meal prepped, um, and hopefully you guys will see um, in the upcoming video that I have uh, be, with that. I'd be interested to see like if you're going full keto at the end of this next month, like how you feel yeah well that's what I'm saying I'm curious too because you know I already tell a small difference in just maybe being kind of keto the last two weeks yeah um versus when we were doing very strict BBB and E and you know when we were doing strict BBB and E I don't think I could rave enough and rant enough about how great it felt you right. probably got felt sick. pretty awesome yeah. probably got sick of us in the video oh my gosh I feel awesome you know and I probably looked more alert on I, the camera. Well, yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I feel like even though I'm down in weight, I feel like I feel like my face is a little more puffy and things like that. But I don't know. It could all be, you know, in the Mental. head. Yeah, it, it very well could be. I don't know. So, um, after a month of, of just doing keto, then I can kind of judge from there. Am I going to stick with keto or am I going to go back to, like, more of a carnivore diet? Am I going to go to a ketovore diet? Like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I do enjoy doing the meal, the meal prepping challenges of keeping it under $100. Um, so whatever I decide to do, I'm probably going to stick with, you know, $100 for a month is uh, uh, coming in under $100 a month is a goal. Right. So, um, yeah, that's really our results for yeah, the month. Yeah, that's the results for the month. Of February mm -hmm. and um, all videos. What do we uh, What do we have planned coming up? Isn't there somewhere we're going coming up? We are going on a concert, to a concert. That's what it is. Uh, we're going to see a, a band called the Steel Drivers. Don't really expect any of you guys to really know who they are, but uh, a lot of people know who Chris Stapleton is. Right. Uh, he started out with that band like years and years ago, um, but they are really... Even Man. though they have a different singer now, he's, he he's was good. He's really yeah, good. He's real good. Uh, but it is, there's such great musicianship in that band. Every single person that plays an instrument in that band is really a master of their instrument. And you can tell, like, yeah. it's a very small, intimate setting when you see them. And, like, it's just, even though you're in a small room, you feel like you're in a huge concert because they're just And it touches your that feels. Good. Yeah, it gets you in the feels for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're very good. Um, great live. I mean, just as good live as anything that you're going to hear on, on a recording. And so that's exciting. Um, you've got your mar your, um, uh, the, your hike coming yeah, up. Yeah, the ruck, the, the ruck march or mm -hmm. the ruck hike or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it, the ruck. Uh, that's on the 19th. And it's, like we said, a Silky's hike. Mm -hmm. which if you don't know what silkies are that's the marine version of the term in the army we call them ranger panties maybe in the live stream tonight we can get everybody we can show everybody your ranger panties. i'm not going to show them on but i might go <laughs> i might go uh uh live when i do the hike for a bit oh yeah that might be fun but, um yeah so what they are is like short shorts like 
Daisy Duke short shorts, but they're camo print, so it makes it okay, I guess. Uh, basically, it's that irrelevant warrior thing, uh, and they, you know, try to uh, help prevent veteran suicide through camaraderie and humor. Right. And so, like, I have funky socks and those short shorts, and, you know, I haven't picked out a shirt yet, but I might wear the, the moist shirt that I wore on my hike. Oh, right, your corkscrew that we barbecue. Got at, yeah, corkscrew when we went with uh, uh, Heath and Shelly. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, so that's what I got this weekend. I have a vendor event that I'm going to and try to sell some of my prints. And then Sunday I have a big photo shoot. Yeah. And, uh, it's a busy weekend. Like I requested special time off to do this weekend. Yeah. So, but that's, that's what I got coming up. Well, I don't have anything like big specifically like that, but I am planning to kind of get back into doing some gardening a little bit here yeah. and there. Um, Potentially even some vegetable gardening. Um, should uh, do some reapers and then we can just give them to Heath and Shelly. Yeah, well, that would be kind of cool to grow some different types of peppers. Mainly what I have in mind is to make my own salsa. But, um, you know, you know what's funny? I Yesterday I was watching the first We Feast where they eat the, uh, the hot wing challenge. I was watching the one with Dave Grohl. It's hilarious, by the way. But um, wouldn't that be so funny if we could do that with, like, Keto friends. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna hack. I'll be. I'll be out real quick. I mean, I don't. I don't think I could make it all the way to the final, like the tenth, you know, spiciest one. But I'd be somewhere there. I like the sweet spice in the middle. That, that's that's where I want to be. I don't like the sweet spicy stuff. That's that's where I'm at. Mm -mm. I'll just eat. That. I'm more, and and this is. I want to feel my mouth when I'm eating something. Uh, I like the more vinegary kind of like, I don't know, but that, you know, I'm not like a pepperhead for sure, but I always think that that would be just, I thought that would be so funny. Like, what if we could just sit around and challenge each other to like... I'll, I'll challenge you and then everybody can see how terrible I handle it. Just because of my competitive nature, I think that I would probably endure whatever it would take to beat you in a wing challenge. <laughs> even if, even if I'm crying, yeah. and even if, like, you know, I'm sweating and crying and everything, I, I would at least have to get one, one up on you. I'm, I'm sweating and crying. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, that's, that's what I got. Yeah, that's really all I have, too. Um, you know, hopefully, you guys, if you're able to catch us on our live. Yep. We, we love watching you guys on your live streams. Yeah. Um, I try to jump in as many of them as I can. Almost always there for the Friday night feast with the Hungry Horde. Yeah. And I try to catch Matreya's lives as often as I can. Yeah. Uh, really I missed the cake pop one, apparently. You missed the cake pop one, and she did another another one recently with Huevos Rancheros. and that she would did be good. Yeah. yeah. And she had, a, like, a, a way to make kind of like the... You shouldn't say egg life wrap, but you know, a That's way to make a way that. To make mm -hmm. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I thought she did a great job with that video. And um, yeah, so we're we're still here. We're in the community. Yep. We, we love our community. Um, we, we really appreciate all the support. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the comments, sometimes your comments are funny. Sometimes, you know, they're just more inspirational than anything else. Right. And we, we hope that we're, you know, inspiring your, all of you to continue to work towards your goals. Your goals. So, yeah. So, um, I think we're going to have to go ahead and cut the video short. It sounds like the dogs are about to really get, uh, get going, get going yeah. over there. So, so bye everybody. Cheers.